Hey boys and ghouls, Moon Girl here. This is going to be a quick little reading. How are you being viewed by the outside world? What is it that people think about you? What's the word about you on the streets? You for the streets? You little hoe? Just kidding. <laughs> what, oh, what's the word about you in the streets? <laughs> What are people saying about my collective? All right. Oh, wow. They view you as someone who's very inspirational. You could be very known for something that you do, uh, like a speaker of some kind. Like people like stop and listen to what you have to say, okay? Uh, whether you're a, a fellow reader or psychic or you're in the public eye of some kind, whatever this may be, singer, whatever, it's like your mouth, hey yo, <laughs> no pun intended, puts you the word. Not like that, or maybe like that to get how it resonates, but you are viewed as very spiritual, okay, guys? So a lot of people can admire you or your work or view you as someone they can really go for advice, okay? <laughs> Anything else? How is my collective being viewed? They view you as a star. They view you as somebody who belongs in the spotlight, someone who belongs to... I don't know, I feel like... You are meant to be seen by the world. <laughs> okay, you fell. Yeah, I told you. Uh, power. There's like it's just a matter of time before you are put in a position of power, in a position of authority where you will be heard. You will be heard. Your voice will be heard all over. All right. Maybe you as a hustler, baby. <laughs> Somebody who's not afraid to get down and dirty. Hey, yo. Uh, to get what they want. You know, you're not afraid to have little side hustles. Um, you do whatever you need to do to get where you need to go, basically. Okay. But I am getting a little bit of a jealousy energy on this. To be honest, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of hateration because you always land on your feet. No matter who comes against you or what obstacles are set in your way, it's like you will like hustle your way through something, situations, and you will eventually always get what you want. Okay, so maybe you definitely be um, associate with cats. Maybe you're cat lovers. You have cats as pets or cat as pets. Let's see. Anything else? How else? Okay, perfect. Wow, you, you're viewed as someone who has a lot of passion and you really go after what you want. You're very passionate about your goals, your personal projects, okay? Anything you put your mindset on it, you definitely go with it, okay? You're very drawn to it. You don't stop. You'll hustle your way to the top, whatever it is that you want in your life, okay? Um, this is at the bottom of the deck, but I feel like you demand respect. You are very well respected, okay? Even, like, people who don't like you, they can't help but, like, respect you in some sort of way, all right? Because you're the real deal. Let's see. The, re the real VIP, that's what I heard. How else is my beautiful collective being viewed? How else is my beautiful collective being viewed? Wow. Okay, they view you as someone who's very, very skillful. You could be really good at something here. All right, people may go to you for advice on whatever this is. They also view you as someone who is very confident. Very confident in your gifts. Very confident in what it is that you know you can do. They know that you're very, very capable of something. You can be very experienced in something, okay? her face she looks so cocky like mm. <laughs> they may think that you're kind of cocky too i'm just saying like your confidence can be confused as being cocky all right but i feel like you don't even have to prove yourself it's just like i'm not in competition i don't have to prove myself i just am and this is you you just are <laughs> like only petty people compete she doesn't or he doesn't have to compete he just is he doesn't have to prove herself or she doesn't have to prove herself we also have humor so people can think you're very funny whether you are doing this on purpose to be funny or it's just very organic like the things that come out of your mouth are very <laughs> uh, funny Let's see how else is my collective being viewed how else is my beautiful collective being viewed That was a lot. I don't want to take all those. 
I kind of feel like you're very stuck on something too. Like I feel like there's something that you're very stuck on that you can't move forward from. Let me see. They're viewing you as someone who is not afraid to speak up for yourself or for the underdog. You're not afraid to use your voice. Like I told you earlier, <laughs> your mouthpiece. <laughs> okay. And it's funny because I'm seeing this New York thing and I'm hearing that song from Alicia Keys and uh, JC. Now you're in New York. <laughs> dreams i feel like someone's dreams are about to come true big dreams or you dream big you're a dreamer anything else the color pink could really resonate with you guys possibly blue what else is my collective being viewed what else is my collective being viewed they don't want to speak what else is my collective being viewed there we go Wow. They view you as someone who's very spiritual, okay? Someone who's very in tune with spirit. Someone who's possibly, you know, um, a reader, a medium, very intuitive, very empathic. All right. That's Travis. Oh, okay. Two fell. What is this one? Yeah, I, again, some wish, uh, wish fulfillment will come here for you. Like, you know how to make things happen.